It was nearly 20 years ago that about 140 infants and toddlers were playing in the Defense Department's Child Development Center as American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon about 30 yards away. Two sisters who were in the daycare on September 11, 2001, were inspired by the heroism that surrounded them that day and joined the U.S. military. CBS News correspondent Natalie Brand has their story. You had basically every type of emergency vehicle and the sirens from that. And then on top of that, just a really acrid smell from the burning jet fuel. And to be honest, most of my memories are a little bit fragmented because I was only three years old at the time. Second Lieutenant Hannah Bourne's memories of September 11, 2001 may be fragmented, but the impact lasting. She and her infant sister Heather were inside the Pentagon daycare center at the time of the attack. A service members showed up at the door and started loading infants into cribs and then just carried the cribs like half a mile to the river. Her mother, now retired Brigadier General Dana Bourne, was serving at Bowling Air Force Base at the time. You know, our world changed and it took us a while to realize that I think after 9-11 that there's no going back. As a child, Hannah drew pictures of what she experienced following the attack and instinctively comforted her sister when her dad brought her to a spot near the Pentagon to try and explain what happened. Both daughters now committed to military service themselves. Lieutenant born with the Air Force, Midshipman Heather born currently at the Naval Academy. The biggest takeaways that my sister and I have had have just been from witnessing firsthand how people show up every day and commit themselves to a larger purpose. Lieutenant Bourne, who is completing a graduate program at Georgetown University this year, hopes to one day fly rescue missions. What is it about rescue missions? I don't know. There's probably something innate there about uh, just the gratitude that my sister and I and my family have for the service members who had the awareness to come help rescue us. Lieutenant Bourne says every 9-11, she and her sister reflect on what they can do to honor the legacy of the lives lost and the sacrifices made over the past 20 years. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia.